Percy is a hard-working green saddle tank engine. He loves playing jokes, but he still keeps very busy. Recently, however, the freight cars were acting particularly rude, and they were beginning to wear Percy down. Hey, Percy. What is it, Fred? Well, my friend of friends, my associates and I were wondering if we could perhaps be your image consultants. Image consultants? What are you talking about? Well, we think you look like a big green caterpillar with red stripes. We thought it'd be best if you went away for a while, curled up in your shed, and took the time to turn into something more visually pleasant. Oh, stupid cars. Percy was having a dreadful time keeping the freight cars in line. To make matters worse, he was on a tight schedule. Shunting freight cars and tending to his goods work proved to be quite exhausting. He grew crosser still when the fat controller put him on ballast detail. Stupid ballast cars, worst ones of the lot. You'd think an engine with all your experience would know how to keep those little devils in line. You feeling all right, Percy? No, I'm not all right. I'm overworked. Dinner, fash yourself. Cheer up a bit. It would be a lot more pleasant to be delivering all this ballast for the branch line if you weren't so miserable about it. I'll go bash some buffers, Donald. I'm out of here. Why, you... You... You wouldn't have said that if you weren't... If you weren't about to leave, Doggy and I will sort it out later, you cheeky little... Hmm... But what is my motivation? What emotion? What feeling? Today art shall be made or laid down on the truck bed, immaculate, refined... Hey, Doc, guy! Stop, stop! Tis fresh, untouched, brilliant! No wheel shall spoil my lifelong masterpiece! Sure thing, Doc. Except you've been here for two weeks. Here are your cars. And I will say, ballast is by far the most ridiculous art form I've ever heard of. How dare you diminish the lifelong endeavors of an accomplished artist? Oh, shut up, Doc. Percy was still in a foul mood when he stopped for a rest at Knapford that afternoon. Henry and Arthur were also there, trying to put Percy in his place before he offended someone else. It's despicable, Percy. Yes, I understand the freight cars are being rude to you, but there's no use in taking it out on everyone else. Yeah, I agree. Don't let them get to you, Percy. Easier said than done. I haven't enough of being told what to do. Come on now, Percy. Stop acting out like this. Show some respect for those around you. We all have hard work to do, and- Hey, hey! That's all of this? Why are we berating this poor tank engine? Flying Scotsman, you don't understand. He- Leave him alone, Henry. This little engine should be commended for his hard work. Not be little by ruthless giants that do not know their place. Little engines like these ought to be praised for their hard work. It's the kind of dedication that I'd like in an engine. Now let the poor engine press! The Flying Scotsman, although kind-hearted and with good intentions, had completely misinterpreted the situation. He thought the engines were being rude to Percy, and not vice versa. The little green engine beamed with pride. His praise, however, was not deserved, but Percy had become so conceited that he didn't care. Did you hear how rude Percy was to Doc? I thought we were always rude to Doc. You, yeah, Doggy? But we do it in a chest. Percy was really rude to him. Look how nuisance. Where's the Percy we used to know? I swear, if I were on the mill power, I'd pummel the wee engine and knock some sense into him. Those Scottish twits don't have the nerve to bust that little tank engine's boiler. Let's take it upon ourselves to pummel that green oaf for bumping yeah. us. Yeah! Don't knock it off, you little terrors. Let's get moving. Inevitably, Percy received his comeuppance in fine fashion. The freight car seized the chance to pay him out. Unable to control the surging train, Percy rocketed down the line and collided into an old goods shed. Looks like we pummeled them good, boys. Better beyond recognition. All in a day's work. You miserable lot. I have no idea how you could take such delight 
and smashing yourselves to pieces. Yeah, we're kind of stupid that way. Percy had certainly learned his lesson. After Toby arrived with the breakdown crane and put him back on the rails, he pushed him back to Knapford. The engines were very amused to see Percy's dilemma, particularly a recently informed Flying Scotsman. You think you would know what karma can do to an engine by now, eh, Percy? Percy, thankfully, is now well aware of that fact. <laughs>